rising into the polemical context of modern China's mass urbanization and insatiable desire for new, countered by a rising Western influence of historic preservation. The state of architecture in China today has become a piling up of artifacts of misunderstood architecture. Contextless, scaleless. The Eiffel Tower in Shenzhen, Italian villages in Tianjin, giant forms in Beijing, a strange shapes, objects for objects. These overtake the original context, replacing architectural and historical identity and human scale. The rate of building does not match the rate of inhabitation, as wealthy investors drive housing market construction. The uninhabited cities and their subsequent lack of maintenance create systemic idiosyncrasies. Half-finished buildings for years, ghost frames, ghost cities. It's the same reoccurring story throughout China. Country field and town taken over with new buildings, demolishing existing buildings, and then left empty for ten years. And taken over by squatters, then put back on the market by several developers. The units are then re-inhabited, redone, and expanded upon. This tabula rasa reality, mixed with the mezzo scale of the density, means the building becomes context to itself. As it becomes contextless, so does it become timeless. Because construction, maintenance, and inhabitation have different timelines, the building is hard to place in time. And this brings us to Beijing. Developer Soho China's recent acquisition of the densifying development in the Chinese capital has found a presence in the news and social media, video game design, and environmental health investigations. At the rate of urbanization and copied or recombinant architecture, space and form are being redefined, where we may very well see possible future replicants of this adapted Soho project. For May, it's basically no activity. So we want to see, you know, how long this will continue. We're monitoring very closely. May no activity. Will June come back? Will July come back? What are your feelers telling you? I feel that you know, as soon as the the government's policy is clear, whatever it is, it needs to be clear, and the market will come back. What it's what the market does not like is that there might be something more coming next next week. Then let's just wait. And I think that waiting does not help anything. Are you lowering prices? Or are you waiting and seeing no. as well? No, we're not. What's your next plan, though? Are you are you as well waiting and seeing, or are you seeing an opportunity here as perhaps maybe other developers who are not as Cashed up as you may be, are you looking at acquiring some of these developments that cannot see to fruition? We we see that the land auction market has come down. It wasn't as crazy as before, and this is a great news for us because、yeah. we have been looking to buy land, and and we were unable to buy it when the land was bidded up so high. So I think that what we have, it, it, the the welcoming factor is that the land is is coming down, and and we. Somebody like us can seriously go into the market to buy.、Yeah. Do you have specific targets right now you're working on? We have quite a few, yeah. <laughs> Dare to do something like this, futuristic, gigantic, totally different from everything else. Uh, Western Europe, ah, mainly is still for this Western, uh, for how many years? Ah, just for the Western people. 一般的农村呢，它这个常见病、多发病，这个比较多。再一个有，你像这高血压、那个冠心病、肺心病的、抢救啊这些。胃癌、肺癌，你像这都都都是比较多。就是这个不戴，一般的人不习惯戴口罩，自己自己没没有什么防尘设备，没有什么都没有。戴口罩，这这里人一般都不喜欢，那就预防不了。
，就没办法，都要呼吸空气嘛，没办法。就是工业排出来的这个气味能够老百姓能够闻见的这个二氧化硫的这个特别刺鼻的这个味道。因为磷酚在是一个盆地，从盆地这个角度来说呢，它的这个大气的扩散条件不是很好。这样的话，使得这个污染物啊，大气污染物不不易扩散，使得它的这个污染的程度非常严重。这个呢，它空气污染太厉害，你像是生病来的以后，绝对是很很痛苦的China suffers from both local problems and um, global environmental challenges. So the combined uh, impacts of climate change and uh, local pollution are uh, causing enormous uh, consequences. The environmental problems in China are very closely linked to um, our energy consumption because there's something fundamentally wrong with the economic um, model. That's why the more the economy grows, uh, the, the more the environment uh, um, starts to get worse. Just take the example of air pollution. 70% um, of Chinese cities cannot meet their air quality standards. The burning of coal is the main cause of air pollution in China. But of course, the increasing transport and, and also the constructions going on everywhere in China and also uh, reasons for air pollution. I'm not sure how many years ago. 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 雨多了就雨，冬天就热，最厉害。夏天怕呢，还比这湖里还空气好些。在家里就觉得厉害，在房子里就觉得。Back from the waters of the Yellow Sea, far inland from the eastern plains, for unnumbered generations, farmers have plowed the fertile soil. After the harvest, the plow, and after the plow, the planting. This has been the cycle endlessly repeated. Through the ages, waters from the mountains have been fed to the fields of the valley for crops that have never failed. One day, the farmer looked up from his work in age-old fields and saw a strange new carriage. The engineers of a far-off land devised new uses for flowing streams, producing a strange new power. To the valley came electricity that bring the valley homes the signs of a changing world. <laughs> 